This video is made possible by the following sponsors. Please make sure to go check out the websites and social media. Hello everyone, uh, today we are in uh, a car that we've never driven before, the Delara F3 around Barcelona. Um, this track obviously hosts quite a couple races during the year, or including MotoGP, Formula One, GT Open, and a couple other small events such as F4, Spanish F4 series. Um, yeah, it's obviously quite a famous track, and I hope to give some good advice. So, I'm to turn one, like roughly that way that um, uh, off road part starts. And you don't really want to use both, only use the first curb, not the second curb, because the second curb can cause oversteer. And this should not be quite flat as the start of the session, but as the tyres start to warm up, uh, you should start getting pretty close. Break at the bridge. You know, really late apex this corner and get a good run. You can almost double apex that corner, get away with turning it early. Here. Just want to turn a bit late. Down the second gear and use all that exit curve and thing on the inside. Yeah, just break just past the outside where the outside curb starts. It's the inside curb, but don't use all that outs um, to the right. It can give you floor damage. This is just a small lift off of the back on the throttle as early as possible. Then use all of that track. Not too much, otherwise you can get enough track and eye racing. Break just past the hundred. And you can really try and use all that exit curb. Don't use all this curb here. Again, floor damage is always something to keep in the back of your mind. And that's a really tricky corner because you just want to run in really hot and then try and bring the car back across. And then turn in and try and get as close to that sausage curb, that yellow sausage curb as you can. And you should be still in second. Get as close as you can to the sausage curbs. And you're seeing quite a few people in... Um, in the F3, in the FIA F3 series this year, and they were actually on this and got stuck, and one of them actually went out, you know, was on the grass for a bit, and almost came off. So don't want to don't want to touch that because your car can bottom out. Alright, so we'll give this in a bit of a better review or better lap, and we'll go for one flying lap. So right, where that off part. Off road is use a little bit of that curb. Use all of this. Obviously, cold tires is very slippery. If they open up the start of the corner, like I said, double apex it. Try to break by a that off track. Go down two gears. And third, you say inside curb, don't use the right curb. Because that sausage curb is pretty dangerous. Little little lift off the throttle. Use the engine brake and forth. Obviously as the tires start to warm up that becomes a bit more safer. Brake just past a hundred. Don't put your whole car over that because you get full of damage. Same here. Just really drive in deep. These cars are very, very twitchy, so really careful on throttle and uh, the mid corner part of, this, part of the lap. Alright. Well, part of the corner, sorry, that mid. My bad. Alright, uh, one more and see how we go. Ooh. 
Yeah, obviously, it's, it's that kind of ever kind of that, but we definitely get closer to it. Slow down. Ah, whatever. Keep going. Very scrappy. Could definitely be better. Let's see what time it is. 39.9. Go for one more. Hope this is better. See, just our tires are just that warmer, a bit safer now. Looking at that bridge. comes around fed either. And then breaking very light. Get a bit of a spin. Good for the photographer. Down a third. Down a second. It's good. the main straight and we do a uh, 39.2 so much better still I reckon we could have gone faster but I guess that's the uh, part of being a racing car driver uh, I hope this video helped out and uh, see you guys next video thanks for watching if you liked the video please leave a like and subscribe to my channel also big thanks to all these people for keeping me on track thank you